catching me. There you are. Come on in. You know, I was just thinking about how when we're doing math, it's kind of fun to have a friend along. So I'm going to grab a couple friends. Today, I want to start us off thinking about a pattern. When you look at the numbers that I've written on the desk, let's just say them aloud together. 145, 150, 155, 160. What do you think comes next in my pattern? Can you tell your teacher? Have you thought about what we're counting by? That's right, 165. I like that I heard you say 165. What should come next? We have kind of a clue here too, don't we? I think you've got the hang of it. 170, 175, and what shall we finish it off with? That's right, 180. I wonder what the rule is. What were we doing to the numbers each time as we went along the way? Yeah. Our rule in this case is plus five. We just added five to every one of our numbers. Or you could say that we were counting by fives. It's just that instead of starting at five, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on, I started us at 145, but then we kept counting by fives, and that filled out our pattern. That's just a little, um, just to get our minds thinking so far today. Alrighty. Now I'd like you to get your place value chart, and I hope that you have some place value disks. And um, I'm also going to use the hundreds chart today, really more for ref just referring to than anything else. Okay, so we're going to be building some numbers together. So how about I um, write our starting number up here and then you go ahead and build it at home and I'll build it here. Let's begin today with 498, and you see I kind of tried to spread my number out there so that it's um, lining up a little bit with our place value chart. All right, let's get started. I like to start building with the what I have in the largest column, <clears throat> but you don't have to do it that way. There's lots of different ways, aren't there? So I have my 400s. How many tens do I need? Now remember at home, your tens might be a different color than my tens. I imagine they could possibly be red, but that's okay. They could be any color we want, right? But we can see that they say 10 on them. Now I've got my five. If I want nine, how many more tens do I need? That's right. We need four more. Five and four make nine. There we go. And now we need our ones. Eight ones in the number 498. There are eight ones. Can you picture in your mind what eight ones looks like? Got five to start with, don't I? Need a few more. How many more do I need? You can think about your tens frame. Whoop! Stay in place there. There we go. 498. All right. Now I here and you at home are going to continue to add one more. And I want you, if you've written the number out also, to change your written number as well. Okay? So we've got 498. If I add one more, I change that to, oh my goodness, can you see what is about to happen here? Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm going to add one more. Ding, 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 ding. 
they cannot stay there, can they? We have to rename these 10 ones. Uh-oh. As 110. Oh my goodness. I'm going to mute the alarm bells for the moment because we've got some work to do up here, don't we? We don't have nine ones anymore, and we also don't have nine tens anymore. We have zero ones. <laughs> We're going to have to get rid of those tens, aren't we? They just can't live in the tens column. What shall I change them for? You got it. Those ten tens will equal 100. This number doesn't stay the same either. We're just changing everything. How many tens? Zero tens. How many hundreds now? We've got five hundreds. What do you think of that, guys? We went from 499 to 500, and now look at that, we have two zeros. My goodness, but we're not gonna stop there. Let's just keep going. Just a little while longer. 500. Now, a lot of people like to say 500 and one, but I really prefer for you just to say 501. All righty, what's coming next? We won't go too much farther. I hope you're still building with me at home. 502. And let's do just a couple more. 503. Before I put one more in, you tell your teacher what number comes next. <laughs> I love hearing all your answers. Thank you, 504. All right, well, that was fun, so why don't we go the other direction? I'm just gonna take two of them off. <laughs> 502, all righty, let's count down. Let's take one away. We've got 501. Let's take another away. I have how many ones now? Zero ones, zero tens, but I still have my five hundreds, don't I? Hmm, how can I take one away now? What shall I do? Oh, that's right. I'm going to rename my hundred. First of all, is ten, one, ten tens. We talked about that last time, right? Ten tens are in a hundred. And that equals 100 ones. 100 ones and 10 tens equals the same thing. Boy, it's a lot of thinking you have to do when you're working with numbers. That's why sometimes we get kind of tired after we're done with math and need a snack or something. All right. Now, <laughs> you know I can't put that there. It just won't fit. So, well, we'll have to make an exchange, won't we? And you know what? These numbers are no longer correct either, so let's just erase them. Now I'm going to exchange my 110. We don't even have to say it every time. Now, what's funny is this number still equals 500. We have 400, 9 tens, and 10 tens. It still equals 500. Now we're going to remove one and we can show what we've got. Four hundreds, nine tens, and nine ones. Whew, that was hard work. Let's take a few more away. Won't go too much farther, but just a couple. You could see that you can kind of do this all day. I really do like for kids to talk about numbers out loud, so let's read our final number together. 497. Great. Okay, I've changed my number. This time I'm not going to write it every time. We're just going to count it out loud together. I have 200. How many tens do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 275. Guess what? We're not going to count by ones this time. 275. What do I have now? 285. 295. What is about to happen here? That is not going to work, is 
it. We are going to rename these 10 tens as 100. Now I have 305. We won't stay there. Now, if I've got my 10 and my 5 ones, that gives me 15, right? So I've got now 315. Last one I'm going to do with you with this one. Let's add another 10 because we're counting by tens. 325. Um, you could also do this with pennies, dimes, and dollar bills. Maybe you could like do some chores around the house and add them in and even have that be some sort of allowance. I always love to play with money. So today we have um, been counting on and counting by. Counting on and counting by. We were adding ones and then we also began by counting by um, fives. And you can do that at home anytime. Do it in the car, do it in the shower, do it when you're helping set the um, table for dinner. Just keep counting on and um, we'll see you here next time.